Hello, this is Reslin Bearcat, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. I release three new videos each week for this title. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified when they are released. Okay, we are picking up with Woodrow Lyles. We, have, as you can see, we have put some more. We have put the crates we collected yesterday in the upstairs area. We've got more crates to bring in. Well, we've got. Uh, we need more crates, I should say. We've brought in all that we have. We are headed out. We're going to check our traps and then go finish looting the rest of the downtown buildings. That's the goal for today. Uh, so we are already ready to go. Um, I do. What I do not have is any. I've got some cabbage that I picked. I need to do something with it. Hold on. I just realized that this cabbage doesn't need to go with me. We will throw the fresh cabbage right here. And we will, we've got some cabbage seeds. And then we're going to grab us one rabbit and one fish. We're going to go ahead and eat the fish. And we'll take the rabbit with us. We may end up being back in a few minutes, but th and that'll be okay. Uh, let's drop the cabbage seeds off here in our box. There we go. And we are headed out. Oops! As I close the door in my face. Let's go see what we can do here. All right. Come on, Trip. Start. All right. We. Pedro needs a cigarette, so we'll go ahead and smoke a cigarette while we're... Oh, we don't have a lighter. Well, yeah, I've got a lighter, but it's in the glove box. We'll deal with that in a minute. Let's stop here. Jump out, run check our traps. See if we caught anything last night. I'm not seeing that we caught anything. We did not, but we do have a zombie coming down here. Let's take care of that. You are not invited. Hmm. Okay, well, nothing trapped. Nothing caught last night. Oh, there's another zombie. Okay. We have more visitors. We still don't want any of that. We will take your watch, though. Alright. Let's see. Are there any others around? Do I see any other zombies? See any down through there? Don't see any over through there. Okay. I think we're clear. Now I will need something to do something about this cigarette. Let's see. I should have some matches in here. I do. I will grab this. There we go. Now then I should be able to smoke a cigarette. And we're headed into town. We're going to we are going to loot the buildings that we did not do. Oh, there are some more zombies over here. All right, we're going to go get rid of them before we do anything else. They're, we're not leaving them in this area. So we've had some zombies migrate into the area. We'll take care of them. I do not need baggy jeans. Although, let's see. Rip. I can use some denim strips. There we go. It takes care of any zombies that I see anyway. Just a few little zombies migrated into the area. Now let's head into the downtown. We, oh, well, I said we were heading into downtown, but we've got more visitors. Knock his glasses off. Well, he took three shots to the head before he went down. We'll grab the newspaper. And another watch. These are uh, zombies. Wanted to know what time to be able to tell the time. All right. Very good. So the plan today is to finish looting the commercial buildings in the downtown area. At least that's the goal, is to get all of them done. Including the gas station at the end of the process. We've got a food mart over here. I don't know if there's still any food in that thing or not. Let's see if I marked it off as I see another zombie. Looks like I did. A 
jacket that we don't need. Or it's not any good, I should say. All right, back in the truck. Let's check out the map right quick and see where we're at. No, we have not marked this off, so we need this building, this building, and this building down here. There's still a building here that we could do. Um, all right, so we're going to get this food marked right here first. I'm anticipating that there'll be a whole bunch of food in here. In the Gigamart. And given the fact that there's been zombies around, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if there's some zombies in here. Now, we already have a duffel bag on us. I'll equip this in the secondary slot. Put our axe in our hand. And let's head inside. Anybody in here? Nope, nobody in here. Okay. Now, there are going to be some rotten vegetables, I know. And we're taking those for the compost bin, as well as the good food items that we can find. Right. So fruit and vegetables in here. That'll make good compost. Nothing in there. Rotten chocolate cake. Nothing in there. All that's already been looted, so let's see what's on these shelves here. I'm not sure there's anything on some of these shelves. Plates. Roasting pan. I don't know how many roasting pans I have. I'm going to take one more roasting pan. Don't need any of the other stuff. A farming book, garden fork, and a sheet. Nothing there that I need. Two school bags, which I don't need, obviously. Some cars. All right, now here's some food items. Rice, lentils, peas, and black beans. Man, those things are heavy. They take up lots of room in the bag. Dried chickpeas, which won't fit. TV dinner, which won't fit. So I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll throw these into the other bag, and then we'll just go right on outside and get us another bag. There's still lots of shelves to loot. All right, and I'm not seeing any more zombies here, so that's a good, that's good news. Put that in the container. Come back here and just grab us another duffel bag. Head right back inside and repeat. Did I hear a zombie? I did. We have a visitor. Let's go down here and say hello to our visitor as he tries to beat on the walls. There is no beating on the walls. I mean, do you guys not know that it's not going to be allowed? Oh, we finally have a key to the place that we absolutely don't need. Huh, it won't let us put it on our key ring. Why is that? I guess because we already have a key to this place. That's what we're going to assume anyway. I don't know that that's really the case, but hey, we don't have a better explanation. Baking soda, milk, sugar, or evaporated milk. That's toys. Canned goods, yes. Use canned goods. Peanut butter, that'll be good for, that's good for traps. More canned goods. We're gonna f end up filling up this bag as well as my guess. Probably in even a third bag. Gum and gummy bears. Cocoa powder. We can make us some chocolate milk. Dried lentils. Well, we'll put one more thing in here and head back outside again. We've got a whole nother row of items. I hear another zombie coming. He's outside. So we'll put that in the container trailer. Go down here and kill the zombie. A worn police shirt, bloody ranger. Oh, the ranger pants are in good shape. Let's grab those. Oh, he's got shotgun shells too. We'll take those. 
and his watch. And we need another duffel bag. Now we are kind of short on duffel bags this time. I mean, we got plenty for what we're going to be doing today, but the reason we're short is we had, uh, we ended up looting in the last episode. We didn't put away things in the bags. So we, we just grabbed the stuff and went right on. Wow, look at that, more canned goods. So we will continue looting here. A leaf rake, that's probably not going to be useful. Orange soda, let's go ahead and drink the orange soda. We'll take the can of pop. Orange soda has a lot of uh, calories, or has quite a, quite a few calories actually, so yep. There we go. We don't need the meat cleaver, oh the meat cleaver can be used as a weapon. So yes, we will take the meat cleaver. Coffee, kidney beans, man, those things take up a lot of room. We got a lot of storage area, so we'll be doing good. Sheets, flour, and yeast. We can do some baking. I haven't baked anything in this playthrough, and that stuff right there is going to finish. Filling up my bags. All right, let's head back out. We'll need. It looks like we'll need one more bag. Now we didn't get a visitor this time. We'll see if there's any visitors out in the parking lot when we go out. Not seeing any. This pattern that we've been seeing recently where it gets dark in the middle of the day is, is kind of an interesting pattern. It's pretty dark outside and it's 1120. Been noticing that in this playthrough more so than, yeah, I don't think I've ever noticed that before in other playthroughs, but it's, uh, it's quite dark outside in the middle of the day, surprisingly. There was a battery somewhere. I need to find that. Okay, a lug wrench. Don't really need the lug wrench. So we're going to leave it. Did the lug wrenches? Let's see. Yeah, there's no durability bar on a lug wrench. So don't need it. Tea bags, cereal, and coffee. More food items with dried split bees and dried black beans another pop and another orange soda another orange soda see this orange soda has 400 calories so that's not a bad item all right we're going to check out all these things over here i'm expecting everything over here to be rotten we'll keep going through Oop, i saw something might have been a Oh, there were some cans of pop, so that is not right. Items. Okay, everything else was rotten. Let's see. I might want to grab that. Don't want the bags, but uh, I think I do want the counter. Uh, let's see. Make sure there's nobody around here. Well, there's a lot of storage back here. Okay. Well see what's in this storage more food well we are here to loot if this is the only place we loot we'll just loot this we'll we'll dump things into the trailer if we have to and just random fill up other things oh yeah that's all that's gonna fit okay we're coming back there is a lot of food here let's see Mayonnaise, eggs, cheese, yogurt. I'm not expecting to find anything here that's any good. Yeah, that's not any good. That's not any good. Yeah, that's not. Okay. That's exactly what I expected. Now, the battery, I think, was in one of these. In one of these things. It wasn't in any of those. So, interesting. So we'll throw this in the can. It won't go in the trailer. Well, all right then. We will put that in the trunk. Now let's make sure we don't grab one of the ones that's full. We only have this one and another one. 
left. Let's see. I don't need money. But I do want the battery. Maybe the battery was in this one. No, it was not. So wh which one was it in? There's the battery. Right there. Okay, we got the battery. Went down through there just making sure there's not anything I missed. Since I missed the other item. Alright, going back in here. Oh, there's an upstairs to this place. I'm not sure if I ever knew that or not. We might just have to go check out the upstairs. See what's up there. So, tons of canned goods. We're just going to have lots of food here. We are relocating all of this stuff back. Uh, it's about 1 o'clock. I'm kind of... Uh, I hadn't eaten anything recently. So, let's go ahead and get into my bag here and see. I've got a rabbit here. Let's go ahead and eat half the rabbit. It will give me some nice food items. Fill me up. Now I do not want... Now I wonder if you can... Open the stack of eggplants. Yeah, I see I've got a plant. I've got a sack. And 12 rotten eggplants. So let's do grab those. One is the rotten food is good for the compost. So we'll go ahead and grab these things. Why not? Throw the sack in here. Uh, the denim strips and the cabbages and all that stuff we'll just go ahead and throw in here as well. We'll throw the empty bottle back up there. I don't really need it. And that bag is full also. Alright, I think we have one more bag. Let's check upstairs before we head out of here, just to see what's up here. Yeah, there's just a little small apartment thing up here. An office space. With a garbage bag and the gar trash can. Sheets, staples, empty bottles, things of that nature. It's a paper clip and that will fit in the full bag so nothing else up here a couple of things in the corner here and it's just got office products in it so head back downstairs go get our other bag I think we can finish looting up out here let's see right through there there we go so the Gigamart was full of items we will be able to mark it off as fully looted. We're not going to have enough room for gas cans, so there's no reason to go down to the gas can this time. Uh, we will put that in the container. Put our rabbit back in that bag. And we'll equip the last duffel bag we have with us. Back down through here. Back into the back. For more loot here in the corner. I think there's still some stuff around the corner. Just loot all this stuff. That was seven. That's going to fill up about nearly half the bag. Another bag of rotten vegetables. And that right there is going to be just about all of it. That's going to get us over 14. That's eight. That's going to do it all. We'll see what all we don't get in here. Yep. All right. Look at this. All right. We got a little bit more room. Not much. Look at that sack of broccoli. We're getting a lot of sacks. This bag is going to be full. So I'm grabbing the last couple of items here. Come on. There we go. And the final two items off these shelves. 
So let's go put this stuff down. And I think there's still a little bit of stuff back in the back back there. We are going to come back in here and see what we can do. We'll drop a, as much stuff as we can into the seat. I'm hoping I can put this bag into the uh, into the back of the truck. We have a truck full of food is what it comes down to. Okay, and we will put in the trunk. Yep, we got that in there. So let's see. We got plenty of room to put stuff in here. We just couldn't put it in the duffel bags. Uh, the duffel bag weighed too much to put it in there. So plenty of room to put some things in there. So we'll bring that over here. We will bring as many of the canned goods as we can fit. Most of the canned food. So we still have this bag on us. We have that. Oh, that will not fit. Oh, is it 89.3? Mint candy, gummy bears, garbage bags will go in there. Newspaper will probably go in there. Okay, that's all that'll fit in there. Now let's see if I can get anything else in the back of the truck. And I know I can. Get lots of stuff in the back of the truck. Got plenty of room. What are we talking about? Plenty of room. Dried lentils. Keep the rabbit with us. Throw the ranger pants in there. Throw the two sacks of rotten stuff in here. Grab the shotgun shells and the TV dinner. And that really got everything that we don't need. Now let's smoke a cigarette as we go into the back and check out if we missed anything. There is another area back there. I don't know if I missed anything. And I, and I really want that. I really want that right there. I'm not sure if it's got how much space it's got in it, but it fits with the decor of the other items. See, I've got more shelves here. And there's more stuff here. All right, let's see. Maybe I need to be a little more judicious about what I take. Nah, I see no reason to do that. Let's do, oh, and there's lots of these things down through here. All right, scrap metal. Oh, pepper. Flour and olive oil. More olive oil and yeast. Okay, we got all that stuff. Let's go down here. Some bleach. Okay. Lots of sacks of... I'm not going to take the sacks. I'm all, because I just don't know how much room I'm going to have. I want to get as much of the food items as I can, the rotten vegetables. I know they're here if I ever want to come back and get them for some reason. It's just compost. I probably have more compost than I can deal with anyway at the moment. Rice. We'll leave the rotten taco shells. So we are starting to fill up. The cans are pretty heavy, but we're not leaving them. Let's just go ahead and eat the black licorice. Sounds good. Piece of candy, it, looting a gro grocery store, why not? Let's see, crackers, gummy bears, jujubes. And finally, we have some more canned goods, and that's going to be all that'll fit. So we'll take this, and then the vegetable, the, the sacks of stuff will leave. Make sure there's no one in here. We'll fill our water bottle out of the toilet. It's a disgusting thought, but hey, desperate times. That's a sack of rotten apples. 
So we definitely have some more rotten apples and things like that we could come get. But I think we've got all that will fit in our compost pile of just the rock the sacks that we have. So I'm going to mark this off as we've gotten everything useful out of it. And I think we're going to head back to the base. We need to put this stuff away. We only got one building today. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, we could check out these two little buildings here. That's the laundromat and the, the auto store. Uh, we got this building over here. We got this building. That It'll just have to be for another day. I don't... Oops. Let's remove that marking. There we go. We don't have what we need. So we're headed back to the base. It's a little bit early, but that's okay. We've looted everything that is of use to us, so we'll head out of here. No reason to hang around and doing a little bit of inventory management back at the base and putting things away. It'll take a while to put all that stuff away. It is five o'clock. We could potentially do a little bit of I'm trying to think. In the evening, I think it's between I don't know if it's five and seven. We may do a little bit of fishing just to start with. See if we can catch something in the evening. I've been doing my fishing in the mornings, but doing it a little here at night might be good. There was nothing in the traps this morning, so we don't really have to rebait the traps. I mean, some of them might not have any bait in them, but that's okay. All right, we're going to stop right here. Get out of the truck. We're carrying a good bit of weight. Let's see. Let's come here. Equip primary. Equip secondary. Lots of food items to carry upstairs. So we'll start with just taking this bags upstairs. And what we're going to do is just drop the bags right here. Drop, drop. And then we're going to immediately head downstairs and see if we can do a little bit of fishing. See what we catch. Haven't done any fishing at this time of the day, so this will be a different, a little bit different time of the day. So we've got some worms, grab one fishing line, a pole, we'll grab one fishing tackle as well, just in case we run out of worms. Fishing, and we'll do the worms first. That's it we catch. Let's see. 550. One of the windows is between four and six, and one of the windows I think is between five and seven, and I'm, I'm not sure which. You don't catch much in the winter time. Your, your fishing percentage, your chance is way down, is well down. You get a little bit of a boost during the right time of the day, but you get a penalty for being winter time. So it kind of offsets at the right time of day it's it's about it's it's only a small penalty for the winter time the wrong time of the day it's a pretty substantial penalty but we'll see if we get anything here we starting with three worms and so far it has not been successful so I'm gonna let Woodrow fish until 6 30 18 30 Supposed to be dawn and dusk. This this would be dusk here. 1700 to uh, 1600, 1800 would be considered dusk, I believe. 610 in the evening. In January, it would be getting dark. Just about anywhere you live in the northern hemisphere. It's no north of there, but definitely Kentucky would be getting dark at this time of the day. And we're having no success. The only time I've had success in the winter time here with this character in this playthrough, the only fish I've caught have been between 5 and 7 a.m. Actually, between 4 and 6 a.m., I should say. It's the only time I've caught anything. So let's cancel that. Let's change over to the fishing tackle and use it for a minute. Just to see what we get. If it changes anything, 
I said I was going to quit at 16, four, six, th at 18.30, 6.30, but I haven't quit, as you can tell. We're going to give it a few more minutes. The only thing I've caught with in this river, the bait fish has occasionally given me something, but the only reliable thing I've caught, I've used, bait I've used, has been the worms. But they're not working right now. I don't believe the fishing tackle is working either. My skill with fishing is not very good. If I could catch something. Oh. Not sure what that was. Can't tell if that was a gunshot or something else. Alright, it's 17 or 1900, 7 o'clock. As soon as this fish is. Uh, is over we're pulling our line in all right that was a bust we tried fishing line worms fishing rod and somewhere there is fishing tackle there we go all right so a little bit of inventory management here to kind of wrap the day up so we will, I hear a zombie banging on our door. We don't want that. One at it. whole party out here all right let's you I've had enough of that let's get rid of you okay anyone else around I don't see anybody let's see you had another watch it's been the day for watches okay let's get this zombie out of my Live out of my house in area. We don't need him. And I don't know where those things came from. It's kind of interesting. As you can see, I'm beginning to get a little bit of a uh, stockpile of them over here. I've tried to come in here. Let's see. I don't see any down through there. I don't see any over there. All right. Well, who knows? They were probably they were definitely drawn in by the sound of the truck, but I don't know where from where. Uh, let's see. We're grabbing duffel bags and carrying them inside. Yeah, lots of duffel bags full of goodies. Woodrow's hungry. Let's see. I do have a rabbit somewhere. Let's eat the rest of my rabbit. Will I carry these duffel bags upstairs? And then we'll call the episode. I'll do some inventory management before I return. So, uh, we've about got one more day, we'll get the downtown area. There's a, this was probably the, the largest collection of loot was in this particular spot. Uh, once we go back into the downtown area, there's not near as much stuff in the other areas. We'll finish out the, uh, the commercial buildings. And then I've got a little bit of a, I've got a little bit of a trip planned. We're going to, uh, we're going to make a trip and see if we can find something somewhere else. So go do something, at least see some different terrain for a while. If nothing else. Oh, that's not the one I want. Put primary. And we still got lots of stuff in the truck. We'll have to get out. So that's going to do it. Thanks, guys. That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified when new content is available. And check out the links shown here for more gameplay. Take care.